All right, y'all. Third time is the charm. What's up, y'all? It is Julian here, and uh, I'm a master trader, and um, I want to talk about the $100 max plan where you get 20 pips and how 20 pips a day, a week, will change your life, okay? Uh, hopefully that when you look at this plan, you're looking at a day and you know how to get 20 pips. <clears throat> if you don't know how to get 20 pips, I'm going to show you how to get 20 pips. I'm going to show you what to look for in a real simple, quick session. And what the $100 max plan account is, you take a $100 account and you do the maximum value of $4. And then you'll get eighty dollars in profit with twenty pips. <clears throat> so you don't unless you're trading like GU or something like that, you're not gonna get exactly the perfect amount of pips, okay? So sometimes there's spread spread and there's commission as well. Uh, anything that's gonna be under one is going to be good. So, with the with this being said, the first day you do four dollars a pip, and you take five trades, or you get twenty pips and you make eighty dollars. The next day you take eight dollars a pip and you get one sixty, and so on three twenty six forty twelve eighty two fifty six five twelve ten twenty four twenty thousand and forty thousand. So. Pretty much what you uh, what you do is you double your account every single day. So every single day you're you're basically doubling your account, almost trying to at least. And um, on your tenth trade or your tenth day or your tenth week or anything like that, uh, you're doing. Two thousand dollars a pip. Now to break that down, let's just do forty thousand. And you you doing two thousand dollars a pip? Okay, so you want to double your account almost every single day. So each trade, if we're only taking four trades, each trade that you're that you're doing, it's going to be twenty five percent. So at twenty five percent, you got to make ten thousand dollars you gotta make ten thousand dollars okay but that's that's to make how I make twenty five percent with ten thousand dollars you take that ten thousand and you divide that by five and you're getting two thousand dollars a pit now this may be a little bit different for you if you're if you're just doing the whole twenty pips in one trade or ten pips but uh, this this is the value that you do as you see the this is the math how we got to it at two thousand dollars a pip and we'll be taking multiple trades okay now in the perfect world that will give you ten thousand dollars but I'm gonna show you something here that you don't always get like that exact amount so today is the 12th and I actually took a demo and I did this today because I knew I was gonna make a video I just it was going great and uh, my very first trade I took it wasn't even, I thought I was doing um, $5,000 a pip. I, I messed up and I was only doing $500 a pip right here. And uh, it won for five pips. And then I took a USD CAD to the upside. And I actually took it at 26.6 <laughs> on this demo account. And uh, the thing about the demo account was I had to make the account, like I, I had to switch over and get on this account because I knew it was going to go up and so the price out price I was at I had to wait a little bit I was a few pips off but regardless uh, I was still able to trade correctly I'm going to show you how to do that and then so this time I did two thousand dollars a pip and then I was like okay two thousand dollars a pip I'm going to do that for the rest of my day and I was going to end it okay so this was my day this is what I did and then I took the right amount, five thousand dollars a pip, because I had like sixty-six thousand there, and uh, 
I took the UC to the upside for five pips. And as you see, instead of it giving me 25,000, it's only giving me 18,000. So, you know, those, those five pips, as you see, the price gives me my five pips, okay? But the actual value doesn't. So it's important to have a five pip take profit because five pips might look different on a different chart, okay? So anyways, um, I take this right here and uh, this is the trace we're gonna do. Now I recommend, uh, before I get into the video, that if you even do $20 and uh, just $20 on an account, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. If you were to do twenty dollars, so let's say you take this hundred dollar max plan and you break it up into five accounts. So with those five accounts, you have five different max plans. So as soon as you get those twenty pips, hop on the different account and start trading. Right? Then you start trying to get your max plan on there the what that builds is it makes you take those correct trades that are actually timed out because you know these trades they're not like real quick trades these are boom boom 15 minutes apart 27 minutes apart and um with taking a 20 dollar account in those 10 trades you'll be at twenty thousand. so i mean you're only taking it's only twenty dollars so you can take a hundred dollars and even you know cut the difference because the value of the pip doesn't even matter because once you get up to two thousand dollars a pip y'all five thousand dollars a pip I mean <laughs> you, you you can be good there like you only started with twenty dollars that's in ten days so that's a whole trading period that you get Monday through Friday so you get two weeks without the weekend so you only get ten days and uh, and the time you buy it for 10 days, you're able to take one of these accounts to 40 grand. Now, if you're able to do that, you're able to become a master trader. And this is the trades we're going to take because I want to be so serious that since we're in this room, I'm helping you. And we say this plenty of times and multiple times, but I just want to let you know that I love teaching y'all. I'm an awesome teacher. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm going to just show you how I do this. So, um, <clears throat> we know what the max plan account is, and I've I've asked a couple couple people to give me a couple trades, and we're gonna talk about them. And the way you take the trades has to be with the golden ticket, and not necessarily the golden ticket, but it has to be the number one. You have to trade with the one hour or four hour and you have to trade in that direction and the good thing about the plan I'm doing going for five pips is that you get your five pips and you're able to cash out and that if it ever goes against you you know you already got your five pips so you're good but if it does go against you a little bit check this out so here we go at the start of the day and um, at the very beginning, it's eight. Oh, so this is thirty-five. So this is already the day already started, and the very first thing you do is you want to look for any pairs that has a one-hour or four-hour direction. You don't care about the trend yet or whatever. Just look at it and you see the one-hour. Okay, is turning to the downside. It has a one-hour on the GU. You have a one-hour on the EG. You have a four-hour on the UC. Okay, so with that, you're only looking for ups on the EG, you're looking for downs on the GU, and ups on the UC. When you look at the price of the chart right now, you see the pound USD at the bottom of the five, the bottom of the high charts, on the yellow, on the 30. It looks like it's touching the one hour band, possibly. So, with, with you trying to take it down with the golden ticket, is a bone cold trade so the trade is actually going up now 
people who recognize that that's that's cool because we're in the room we know we know how to trade but that's not on the golden ticket y'all uh it's not on the golden ticket so you're you're waiting for this to actually go up to a high at 9201 anything like that to take it down because this down move is over people are getting out their trades and it's about to go up a little bit uh, for the UC you see that or EG actually you see that it's at the top again it's at the top again you have to wait for the price of 82 81 82 you want to get those prices and on the UC you have a four hour now this one right here is where I can't get any of y'all to lose because it's kind of tricky but it's not just look at it you have a four hour signal and it t it's telling you to go up if you were to take a trade because the high chart flipped up and you're on the orange line but you're going going against this 15 minute blue and you got space you would be wrong because this trade has broken look look it has broken the one hour band and came down it's, it's going down on a retracement yeah, this is where you're getting this wick. Okay. The whole story, let me explain the whole story on the UC. That it goes down and it's going up right now and it went to the orange line. It went to the orange line. Now the eight hour shows that it goes down and went up and then it went down once it hits the orange line and this is what you're getting. And now it broke the orange line and it's going up. That's why you're getting a wick. The four hour shows you that this was what happened. This is the confirmed orange line bounce to the downside. It came up, and so you're getting that orange line bounce. That's why you're getting a four hour signal. The one hour says, hey, it went down for one, two, three, four, five, six, eight hours dang near, right? And here you go. You're getting your signals pointing to the upside. So it's so important to take your trades at a very good price. At 11, you want your price at the bottom of the band because you're going against these signals. Okay, so as this goes on, we don't take the Okay, so I want you to I want you to look at the pound USD, and um, I want to say that if you're trading like this, if you're trading with the one and four hour directions, and you trust and believe that, and you're waiting for it to get to a, an actual band. <clears throat> Not only do you wait for it to get to a band, but you wait for a signal, like a yellow, and that's perfect, okay? Now, the things with the yellows is that, see, this is at 24, and uh, I said don't take a trade, because if you take a trade, it's going to be at 11, okay? You, you want to at the bottom of the bands. Now, here you go again. For the UC and then the GU, I'm gonna explain two trades. So I'm explaining both of these. The GU first. The GU, it, it did go down. It did go down. Boom. And here it goes going to the upside. Now, with the one hour still being there, you're gonna get a yellow high arrow right here. And the price is at 92. 
that's not a bad trade because once you take the trade, your five pip stop loss is actually at 01. So you might have to push it out to, you know, like 10 pips right here. But because um, it might go against you because you're not at the bands. But always remember, if you're at the five minute band, it's not going to go against you. So if you got the high chart, you might have to go, you know, you might have to push out your stop loss. And that's two examples right here you see on the UC and on the pound USD because it still has space. I know it's still flipping up, but I mean, just imagine you didn't you didn't take it at 11, now you can take it at 14. So it's it's getting there. It's getting there. So boom, you get your hot chart arrow at 92 and you're still having your 1 hour arrow. Okay. Okay. So if you was to take this trade and it went to 86, I believe this trade go actually goes to 86. If you were to take that trade and you were to risk that one for five pips, okay, you could have won. Now let it keep playing a little bit because it, it flips up and this is an up move. All right, so now if you get your five pips here and you got your five pips at the very top of the band, awesome trade. Now your trade since it won with the five pips, whatever it may be, 4.8, 4.9, like if it's really close and it's just like staying there, y'all, you know, you're getting a new one hour, you're not gonna have that one hour signal pushing down anymore. So yeah. And so you take your signals again, and after you get your five pips, of course, right? After you get your five pips, you're looking at, oh, I got my five pips. What other pair now has a one hour or four hour signal in it? So you get your five pips, you still see the EG, and you still see the UC. The EG, once again, is at the top of the bands whenever you took your five pips. So you have to wait for 81. Because you didn't get you didn't get price 81. You traded the GU, apparently. So and then you still got your UC with the four hour. So with the UC, it's going down, it's going down. Now here. Here, guys, I'm going to play the video from right here. It's going to be quick. So you got your four-hour signal. I want you to watch the UC. What happens whenever you get the yellow arrow, it breaks in the bands, and then I'm going to stop the video because this is another five-pip move.
So that's five pips. That's a five pipper. From 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, if you had just had just terrible entry on the USD CAD, you're going to get your five pips here. Okay? So after you get your five pips up on the UC, what do you do? You got two more trades. You scan the markets. What markets do you see? You see the UC still has a four hour signal. The GC has a four hour signal. So at this point, you're looking at which one do you want to take? Do you want to take the UC when it comes back down to the orange line up? Or you want to, yeah, that's the other thing. Once you start taking these trades, of course, y'all. You can go for more than five pips, okay? But these are just five pip moves because it can, it just really, it will just show you some better trades. It will just make sure your entry's always right. It will, it will let you know whenever you can get those 10, 15, 20 pips because you'll start to see it more. So going for five pips at the beginning for these 10, tra 10 trades, 10 days isn't, isn't nothing. So once your trade gets going and we still have our four hour signal, the next thing this is going to do is go to the hard chart orange line that's the very first thing and then it's gonna touch it and it's gonna bounce and go right back up as long as you have the four hour signals there as long as you have the signals there it's gonna bounce and go up so look for that so this is our third trade now that we're on now see the bounce now see the bounce. And boom. For those who took the GC at the bounce, boom, that was a five pip move. But let's say we didn't take the G the GC, okay? You didn't take the GC, but and you took the UC at 22, 23, okay? And uh, let's see what goes on here. So right here, let's see if it goes a little bit more. Twenty-nine. So perfect. So right here, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. All these were winners for five pips going to the upside. Alright. So you get your five pips. That's three trades already, y'all. That's three trades, okay? That, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's three trades. Now, my day is almost over. That it took, I don't know, 38 minutes, an hour to make these three trades, and I got one trade left. What do I do? I look for the one and fours, and I see the EG after I take my trades, and it has a four hour up, and I see the GC and the UC have four hours up, but the thing is once I once you look at these charts and you start seeing that you have blues at the top of the bands At the top of the bands and I know it's breaking the band. So it just looks like It's gonna come down for a little bit um, 
but probably not right now since it doesn't have help but in a little bit it is so let's keep going Uh, reason why I'm pausing here, I want to watch this because um, I know I didn't take this, but if you took this at 27, it's one of those things that it's kind of gambling, but let's see if it wins. Okay, so from 27, it won again. Now that's five pips, that's that's four trades. Hey, I don't gotta even show the video anymore. Now, uh, I know throughout this time, this had the four hour signal too. So you could have just waited for this one at the bottom of the bands at, on the GC. Cause this was our third trade. We took it at, down here at 20, at 15, 16, 17, then we took it at 22 or 23, 24. And that trade right there was to give us five pips. Okay, so that 27 here was like the last trade. Like I said, it had the blues on there. So you got to be careful. Now with one more trade left, one more trade. And I only trade the one and four. I so happened to scan the charts after I win my trade. And the UC, the EG is actually like just banging to the downside. And it still got this dang four hour signal there. And it just so happened this time whenever I whenever I look at it, it's at the bottom of the bands. It's all up in the bands. It's perfect for the price for the trade I want to go. And so I I actually take the EG for the last trade. As you see, uh, it went to 77. I believe I got in at 78. As soon as this candle opened, I was like, yeah, it's, it's going to go up. It has a four hour, I mean, it has a one hour signal. It's breaking the four hour band. It's at the very bottom. It's touching the daily orange, orange road. So I take that as a down move. Okay. Or I mean, uh, an up move. Okay, so from 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. These were all winners on their euro pound to the upside. Uh, it just so happened to have the one hour signal and it had all the bands. Now, um, the last one I want to show you is that uh, for people who take trades like who took this one and it didn't give you five pips okay this one didn't give you five pips and you put your stop loss at it was at it was above 01 so now it's at 98 okay so now you're still at 
what the price was 92 and so you just need this go down some more for you Not breaking the bands. There we go. So now this this was a great move, okay? This was from here. And this what this what this was uh, like a retracement to the top of the bands at ninety eight. You took your trade to the downside, and you held your trade because you knew you had the blues going with you. You had the trend going with you. You had the one and you had the one hour going with you. I don't know if this just popped up, but you had all those signals going with you. And so this is a nice, nice exit to get out because you're breaking the bands. You got the yellow. Uh, you've been seeing it going up and down all day, and you already got your five pips for sure, especially if you held in your trade. Okay. So the next the next one I want to show is this one right here. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, so the next trade is going to be on the UC. Now, like I said, I'm taking trades that only have the one hour and four hour arrow in it. And as you see, I was able to get all five of my trades real quick and um, 20 pips. Now, this trade here is one of those trades that it's okay for people who are looking for trades that are outside the bands. And you're getting your blues everywhere, right? Getting your yellows. And um, if you're taking this trade... Okay, so uh, you're taking this trade. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say, "Hey, bad job" or anything, because let me see. See, like right here, it's at 27, 28. Now, if you were to get in this trade to the downside at 28, okay. If you were in this trade and you've seen this and you were getting there because it had the one hour signal, you knew it was coming off the bands. Okay, you're not wrong at this point at this time, but you know, you just have to get those five pips. I don't think the video goes um, far enough to let you see it break that. But yeah, definitely to the one hour orange road, then more than likely back up. Okay. Uh, yeah, for sure. So that's not a, that's not a bad trade. Like I said, but once you wait for the right signals and you get in the trade at 27, 28, uh, that's how you do it.